a man who today became the fastest ever to complete the London Marathon dressed as a star was handed his medal by the Duchess of Cambridge. Kate gave Michael Law a shining smile as he crossed the finish line in his out-of-this-world costume. The princess was initially baffled as she could not see a way to put the award round his neck. So she draped it over the point at the top of the outfit, saying, There you go, I might just put it there. That's fantastic. Plucky Michael, 33, from Brentwood, Essex, was running for St. John's Ambulance and bumped into the Royals three times. At 10 miles Prince William asked him aren't you hotting that? As he steamed through the opening section of the 26-mile race. Then at 22 miles he saw Will again, before finding the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge with Prince Harry at the finish line on the mall. Kate told him, congratulations. I can't believe you caught up with us. Michael ran in the Boston Marathon on Monday and dedicated his fresh triumph to close friend Indira Jayasaraya who died in November from cancer. Indira had been pregnant when diagnosed and was told to get an early C-section so she could start treatment. But she refused doctor's orders so she could give her child the best chance of survival. Michael, who finished in 4 hours 20, smashing the previous record for fastest star by 26 minutes said, when I found out she had cancer and had been diagnosed for a second time I wanted to run the marathon for her and then she passed away in November. She used to say to me you were a star. Everybody was so happy to see me running along the course and I could see kids laughing as I went past. When I saw William earlier in the course he said how hot does it feel in that costume? And I told him pretty hot. It's amazing I've broken the record. I would have liked a faster time but after the Boston Marathon I had to pace myself. My legs were screaming at me earlier but I'm not too bad now. Kate also handed a medal to Neil Hunting running for the royal family's Heads Together mental health campaign. Beaming Neil told her I need a beer as she laughed and congratulated him on his run. Neil a travel agent from Icebridge, he said, she asked me how I was feeling. I told her I would be better in an hour when I had a beer. She said well done, great to see you're running for Heads Together. The royals then headed on to a Heads Together recovery station where the campaign's official triumphant runners were getting massages. Earlier, Prince Harry had taken on the role of royal hugger-in-chief as he joined the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge to cheer on runners at the start of the London Marathon. The three royals, whose mental health campaign heads together as the official marathon charity, were at the start line to sound the klaxon that marked the beginning of the race. But they were also there to offer last words of encouragement to some of the 700-plus runners supporting heads together, including military veterans a family who lost their father to suicide, and a woman dressed as a strawberry.